Hey everybody, it's Jim, and welcome back to another lesson introduction of Corn Shell. Today we're working with a program called lastname2.ksh, and it goes over masking out a first name, a middle name, leaving us with a last name, family name, or surname, whichever you prefer to call it. Now, last time, we created a variable called full name, and we assigned to it Robin space Williams. And then we created a variable called last name, and we assigned to it the result of whatever this was. And this says, take the contents of full name and plop them down right here. So we take Robin space Williams, put it right here, and then this says, starting from the left-hand side, I want you to remove anything followed by a space. So in our case, Robin space Williams, the Robin space matches up with that, and that gets removed and the word Williams ends up being put right here and assigned to last name. Now that's a good way to find the last name of the contents of a variable if the contents are a first name and a last name. However, what happens if the person or the value within full name is George W. Bush or George H. W. Bush. And we are only interested in both cases in the last word that is put into the variable. Well, if we use this rule right here, we would end up putting this into full name excuse me, we would end up putting George W. Bush right here. And then we would start from the left-hand side and remove anything followed by a space. So that would remove that. It would leave us with W. Bush as the last name. And in this case, if we had this in full name, it will get put right there. And this would say, start from the left-hand side and remove anything up to and including the first space. It would once again remove George space, leaving us with H.W. Bush to be assigned to last name. And what I did right here is I did, in fact, reassign the value within full name to be George H.W. Bush. And I ran our rule, which says full name, pound, asterisk space. And it should assign this to last name. Now afterward, we print out a blank line, and then we print full name is. We print out what the full name is, which is this, and we put the little colons in front and behind just to show where the contents of this variable begin and end. And afterward, we have another print line that prints out the value within last name variable last name, and we put the colon in front and behind to mark out where the contents of that variable begin and end. And after that, we just do our little waiting trick, which says print, print waiting for you, and then we read nothing. We read whatever they take, put it into the variable nothing, and do absolutely nothing with it. But 
it causes the program to wait right here until we hit a carriage return or enter something in. So we will only see these first three lines of the output from the program. And running our program, last name 2.ksh, we see that our full name is George H.W. Bush and what gets assigned to last name H.W. Bush. This really isn't what we want. What we'd like to see is just the word Bush. Now, how do we do that? Well, corn shell has another little rule. If you look at this, it's very similar to what we've been doing, except it has a double pound sign. And what this means is the following. Let's start from the beginning. We create or have our variable last name, and we assign to it this. This says take the contents of full name, which are still George H.W. Bush, plop them down right here, and this says start from the left hand side and find me as many occurrences of anything followed by a space as you can and remove every single one of them. So what does this mean exactly? Well, it takes all this and puts it right here. It then says, OK, remove this, because that's anything followed by a space. We are now left with H.W. Bush right here. It goes back to H.W. Bush. It looks for anything followed by a space starting from the left-hand side. It finds this, removes it. We are now left with W. Bush right here. This once again says, hey, start from the left-hand side. Find me anything, followed by a space. Finds a W, followed by a space, removes it. We are now left with, with the word Bush. Bush gets put right here. This says, hey, find me anything, followed by a space. There isn't a space after the word Bush, so it can't do anything, it can't remove anything. So Bush gets left right here, and Bush gets assigned to the word last name. The double pound sign means give me all matches starting from the left-hand side and remove them. So down below, we have a blank print line, and then we print out the contents of the variable full name and we surround it with the colons and then afterward we print out the value of the variable last name and we surround it with the colons and in this case last name should now have Bush. So let's take a look at the output and our program has been patiently waiting for us we're going to enter in whatever we want to hit enter it's going to assign it to a variable called nothing and do absolutely nothing with it. And then afterward, the program continues on, it prints our blank line for us, it prints full name is George H.W. Bush, and last name is just Bush. Anytime you want to remove multiple copies of the same pattern starting from the left hand side use a double pound sign